Welcome back, American Musical Supply fans. Back here at the Gibson area at NAM 2013. I'm Al John, and we've got a lot of great models here from Gibson USA. A lot of our new signature models, brand spanking new, Bill Kellier from Mastodon, and what I like to call, or what we call, the Golden Axe. And yes, it is almighty. And you can see here this gold burst finish, bound neck right here, of course, mahogany. We've got some lace pickups in here as well. And it is, once again, called the Golden Axe. So this right here is an awesome shredder, brand new in 2013 from Gibson USA. We also have the Joe Bonamassa Gold Top. People know it, people love it, you wanna have it. Sully Erna from Godsmack, this is his signature model. And this, a really unique feature, not only is the graphics unique, but it also has a, fl a flanger that's built in as well. So really cool guitar and it sounds amazing. Now for Les Paul, we have this Les Paul tribute and we can see here, if you get a little close up, Lester William Pulfus, his name is engraved right in here along with uh, his, uh, his, his date of birth and of course the day that he passed. We've got here a really cool inscribed headstock veneer with his picture on it. This right here is non-weight relief. And basically this is based off a 1952 Les Paul gold top, as you know, that is when the Les Paul was introduced by Gibson. And this right here has a re-engineered tailpiece so that it is fully playable and it sounds amazing. And it's one big uh, piece of mahogany too. It's not even uh, weight relieved in any way. So it is a beast. And of course it's a, a loving tribute to Les Paul himself. Speaking of tributes, Dweezil Zapp is on the road right now playing his father's uh, guitar. This is a faithful recreation of what we call the Roxy SG that Frank Zappa played. You can see here the tailpiece that uh, didn't come on his original guitar we, uh, we included in there because uh, Frank added that on afterwards, as well as a lot of different electronics. We have out of phase and single coil sounds here. The guitar itself has got this kind of um, uh, vintage feel and finish to it. It's not quite satin, it's got a little bit of lacquer on it, so it has this really nice worn look as he removed the finish. And of course, you've got here the white headstock veneer with Mother of Pearl inlay as well. So this is an amazing guitar, full of tonal variety, and of course that great tail piece as well. So you can really get down and dirty with Frank Zappa's music and uh, plays really fast. And it's really light as well, believe it or not. A couple more models here. Angus Young, a classic model SG here. You know it, you love it. And from Five Finger Death Punch, we have Jason Hook's signature model, Explorer. It's called the M4 Jason Hook model. And you can see here, it's got a great bevel right here on the edge of this Explorer custom graphic on the back of the headstock. And like Jason Hook's Explorer, it's got that Sherman, the, uh, the graphics on it, as well as the, the tubular uh, channel right here, which is just like his original Seymour Duncan loaded pickups in here. Unlike his, we actually added the neck pickup uh, to his. Of course, that conduit, the pickup selector switch. It comes with a custom case that's green just to match that whole motif, but it's a very comfortable guitar to play. You'll also notice an extended cutaway here as well. So really unprecedented access to the upper frets and this is an amazing guitar and he's an amazing player. So Jason Hook, awesome, five finger death punch. Check that out. Now we have a couple more different limited run models here in the front that I can mention as well. This right here is the Les Paul Zoot Suit. This is Stratabond. This right here is a prototype, but you can see here the different laminate pieces of wood that we have here carved. It's a thinner Les Paul style body does have a P90 and a humbucker. You can see the back and the different lines here of the, the laminate that we use. Uh, this is a, a little bit of a heavier style of guitar, limited run guitar, but it is a very, uh, it sounds great. A lot of punch, a lot of clarity, a lot of definition between the notes because of that, that uh, laminate that we're using on this. So that's a limited Les Paul Zoot suit that we have here. And Grace Potter from the Nocturnals, an amazing artist in herself. You may have seen this last year. We've got more of these because this was so popular. This is a Grace Potter Signature Flying V. It's got burst bucker pickups in it and a nice satin back, so it plays really, really fast. And it just looks great. Nice retro styling on the pick guard as well. 60 slim taper neck, so it is a fast player and a very popular model. And of course, you can pick this up at American Musical Supply as well. And that just about wraps up all of our signature and limited run models for now. We'll be back with more Gibson Guitar Talk right here at NAMM 2013.